test. Let's see how mat reacts in presence of other grains. So we have taken wheat sample and spread it over the scanner and we'll start the scan. I'll cut short the process. It takes around one minute. So now we have this final result. There were around 700 grains over the scanner surface. You can see the label image over there. Various categories have been labeled separately. The barley has been labeled as L, whereas the mustard has been labeled as M. You can see that the broken grains have been labeled as B, whereas the perfect grains have been labeled as C. The inorganic material have been called as stone and they have been labeled as P. Apart from this entire image, you can also see the segmented images of each and every category. You can click on segmented images which will take you to the image gallery. So these are the various classes present. So these are the barley samples. So there are around 7 barley present in the sample. Apart from this, these are the broken grains present. So you can see these are the green grain which can be adjusted as immature. These are also present in shriveled and based on the requirement this can be chosen in which category these grains should fall. So you can see all the grains which are being classified as shriveled by MAT. MAT gives you the possibility to basically judge which all grains are present in the sample. So you have already seen barley over there. These are the mustard grains. So there were three mustard grains present in the sample. Apart from these, we can also go for other crop present in wheat sample like rice and other grains. So these are the category which has been called as perfect. These are the inorganic material which we have called as stone. So there are various type of inorganic material which was in the sample. So you can basically see each and every category has been differentiated according to the egg mark standards. And this one is the surface damage. You can see that there is a textural distortion in this. All these grains can be classified as surface damaged. So this way we have classified all the categories separately. With MAT, you can see that you can also classify foreign matter and inorganic grains separately. This helps you in getting better results. MAT also has the possibility to incorporate multiple images basically from the different sites so that you do not lose any data. This sort of customization can help in improving the quality of judgment that is being performed on the grain sample.